Hayes Genesis. I really enjoyed the Core 100 agenda course this semester. And it really had me questioning like what gender is. Like I never really asked myself what gender is. So it opened a lot of questions. And for this video, I would like my main focus to be the plasticity in the brain and how like certain experiences contribute to what we think about gender. Um, the first text I would like to analyze is Gender in Our Brains by Ripon. Um, when she talked about how plastic the brain is, especially in younger children, that really grabbed my attention. I really like this quote from Ripon. It says, brain structure and function in these children appear to have been affected by their early experience. So I think that means that everything we see plays a role into how our, our brains interpret certain information. And one of these things is our perception on gender. And I think a good example of this is when um, the students were asked to draw who they think a scientist is, and most of them drew a bald man with a beard. So that shows that um, kids at an early age, they begin to pick up everything around them. So obviously their environment and like what their parents teach them and everything they see is gonna affect what they think on certain things like gender. So I think the plasticity of the brain, it ties together with the stereotypes. And one of the common stereotypes is that STEM classes are only for boys. So many argue that a boy's brain is built for hard subjects like math, science, while a woman's brain is more for like caregiving, doing chores, things like that. So I think at a young age when kids are denied um, the access to take these classes, especially girls, they feel unmotivated to even consider taking the class because society thinks that they're not smart enough. And here's another quote from Ripon. Social stereotypes have a self-sustaining characteristic whereby once they become part of an individual's or a society's social guidance system, they will be they will determine that the individual or their society behaves according to the messages embedded in the stereotype. So I think society judges based off of these stereotypes, like the ones that women aren't smart enough to take STEM classes. That explains the underrepresentation of women in STEM. I think the most recent text that we just read, um, um, The Underground Girls of Kabul, really does show how plastic the brain is, especially in younger children. Um, this quote from Nordberg, um, I will refuse to get married. My no is a no. When I grow up, I will go to the West where nobody gets involved in your business. My will is very strong and I will refuse my parents. Nobody can force me to do anything. So at an early age, um, most of the girls in Afghanistan knew how different their parents would treat them if they were a boy compared to a girl. And a boy was a valuable to a family while the girl was just another disappointment and unable to do anything except for getting married by her father and expected to have kids, um, specifically boys, and staying at home doing housework and just being a caretaker. And it was common for a woman to be beaten by her husband, and that usually meant that their daughters would likely be beaten by their father too. So I think living in a place like that seems so unreal. And of course, those girls who transition to boys for the sake for the sake of their family's reputation knew at an early age that boys and girls would always be treated differently. Uh, boys could get jobs, go to school, leave the house freely, while the girls were expected to stay home and do nothing more than that. So so some of the girls who transitioned from girls to boys and then back from a boy to a girl did not want to transition back to being a girl because they knew it came with no freedom and all of their rights would go away. And I think that's why it was so hard for them to live in a world 
where they were finally seen and heard by society, then back to a life where society expects you to have children and really do nothing else. And here's another quote from Nordberg. In my heart, I am still a boy, but it is my choice to wear women's clothing now. It's only important to be a bacha posh in the head, to know you can do anything. So at an early age, these girls were already familiar with what society expected. They knew that being a boy meant having all these privileges, and I think that's what made it so hard for them to transition back. And then be expected to live their life, get married, have kids, without that affecting them. And obviously, it would affect them. And some of them tried to get the help, but it seems like it was way too hard for them to get that help. The underground girls of Kabul made me think about the text we read gender cognition and transgender children so it was an experiment done to see if transgender children were confused about like their gender identity or who they chose to be um, in the conclusion it said further and addressing the broader concern about transgender individuals mere existence raised at the outset of this article the data reported here should serve as evidence that trans children children do indeed exist and that their identity is a deeply held one. I think that just proves that at an early age, children already know who they want to be versus who they don't want to be, just like in the underground girls of Kabul. Uh, most of them, they wanted to have jobs, they wanted to go outside freely, and I think that's why they chose that they wanted to stay being a boy, even though their family kept rejecting them they knew that they wanted to be a boy and it couldn't just simply go away and of course their, their society would never understand that so it was really hard for them to come to terms with themselves and try to be something that they knew that they knew they could never be so I think I just want to say that everything we see all of our experiences it really does contribute to what we think about gender and it all starts at an early age, and that's when the brain is more plastic. And everything we do from the sports we play, the toys we pick up, it all influences the person someone becomes. Uh, thanks so much, and I hope you have a great summer.